Hello again. I wanted to do a bit of a follow-up video. Uh, the one I did where I showed the box off. I lost a lot of the footage. That was my mistake when I was actually doing the work. Uh, I have some pictures. I'll see if I can edit that in somehow. Um, so what I started with was a long box truck, long box frame. I got a donor box and I converted the frame to a short box. Not a great way to do it. I honestly do it again. Um, you'll see in the next video, I'm actually going to do uh, uh, the back half of the truck, new frame, um, custom built frame with a four link coilover. So I'm really not too worried about it. I'd always kind of loosely planned on doing that anyways. Um, in the future, well, I decided to do it now because it doesn't handle the way I want it to with leaves. So I'm going four link with coilover. Anyways, getting back to the shortening of the frame. Um, if you're able to find a picture of a frame, short box frame, excuse me, on the internet, you'll see this sneaks up quicker here. This is the telltale that this was originally a long box frame, the way it swoops. They are different frames, the way they it comes up. Basically, all I did was relocate. Off the top of my head, I think it was 10 inches. Uh, I could be wrong on that. Axle needed to move ahead 10 inches. So it was originally back here. Release the uh, leaf perches from the frame. Relocated them 10 inches forward. Um, you can see here are the old marks. See those four there? Uh, if you can see them. They're now relocated up here. That's the mount for the uh, leaf spring up here. It used to be back here. It doesn't show on this side because I welded them flush and uh, put a bit of body fill in there so I didn't want to see the holes in the frame. So I welded them up and then I cleaned them up a little bit. Can't see it in there. Anyways, things you run into. Um, didn't want the spare tire mount. Uh, it probably would have fit. I just didn't want it. I have some box tubing. I strengthened it that way. Gas tank mounts um, do not fit from the Long box, uh, the tank has to move forward or it would hit the axle. This used to be mounted back further the tank. You do have to shove it up forward, but the mounts don't work. So you could get short box. Gas tank mounts, I did not, I just made my own. Um, what else needs to be moved here? Shock mounts. Um, they turned out not how I wanted because they are different from the short box as well. You can see I have a spacer, inch and a half spacer on the back here. That's because the frame is on a different angle. These used to be mounted flatter up in this part. There's the hole that would have been the front hole. The back hole would have been mounted back here. So that gives you an idea how much that moved from front to back. No, that's wrong. I'm sorry, I'll do that again. That hole goes to there. That mount was the front mount. So that moves to there. And then what else? Cut off the excess of the frame. Relocate the bumper mounts. Drill new holes. Not really a big deal. Wiring harness is still long. I just looped it and tied it. I'll get to that when I do the, uh, the custom frame. I wasn't worried about that at the time. New brake lines, I was in here, did new flex hose, just cut the uh, this one a bit shorter and reflared it, joined it there. Um, I put in all new e-brake cables for the short box. Other than that, sounds like not much work, but that was a lot of work. Um, but yeah, so I apologize for any... Uh, but he thought that I was misleading them and just uh, swap trucks or I don't know what. It doesn't really matter to me what your opinion is. Uh, this was done this way. Um, it was fun. I enjoyed doing stuff like this, but I wouldn't recommend it for the faint of heart. It's uh, probably easier to get a short box frame convert if you have a, a mint cab and stuff like that to go that route instead. But uh, this is how I chose to do it and that's how it is. So we'll see you in the next video.